normally when people ask about Kingston, Kingston is, is Jamaica. Generally speaking, the Caribbean is thought of as data poor. Uh, we tend to eschew data and evidence-based decision-making in favor of sensationalism and you know, um, innuendo. Um, and there, there's some cultural aspects to that, so that we think a Caribbean school of data has to build not only skills, but attitude and a culture of um, decision-making that is data-driven. And so that um, data literacy, what we're doing with this um, boot camp, and broader digital literacy, we, we think is a fundamental part of that process of building up the open data ecosystem. Lord of mercy, I don't know what we do. Uh, we have this, all this land sitting down and I don't know what to do with it. I see all my friends planting all kinds of things, herb and all of these lands that they have down here in Westmoreland. I need to do something with this land. I am Gary Campbell, the Director of Technology in the Ministry of Science, Energy and Technology, Jamaica. The role play that I just did was to look at how farmers can make the best use of arable land. I'm a part of the boot camp being held by the World Bank in collaboration with the government of Jamaica. What we're doing here is a small production to look at how data can be found to be useful by citizens. A couple of years ago we did a study with, um, in collaboration with Capri here at the university which uh, demonstrated, illustrated unequivocally that open data, just looking at open data and the value of open data in just three sectors, agriculture, tourism and education has the potential impact of one and a half percent GDP. That is phenomenal, that is hugely significant. Um, so this is serious business.